All right, so very quickly, let me explain this video. I was thinking about taking you through a walkthrough of one of my days, but the problem is every single day is different. So whatever I'm doing on Monday may not be truly representative of what I'm gonna be doing on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. And being a freelance web developer, you're gonna find that you're gonna be working at different hours during the day and sometimes overnight. So I figured, let me just try to throw into a video everything that I possibly try to do during a typical day. And again, there are no typical days. So watch the video. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'm going to show you some footage of uh, what I do during various days. Again, remember, I'm married with three kids and I work from home. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Do you see what time that says? Let's see if I can focus in on that. 4.33. That's in the morning. That's crazy. That's what it looks like outside right now. This is the time the champions get up. Yes, I pack everything, mama. I gotta show you what's in my bag. In my bag, I have um, my little MacBook Air. That way I can code whenever I have to on the go. I have some diapers. There's this, well, some pull-ups, because he's actually using pull-ups now. Because this one still needs it. And of course we gotta have water. And I got his water there too. In the car, we got the drone. We got a moped, his moped, the video camera, and the DSLR camera. So you got a lot of stuff in the bag. Hello! Today we're learning. What are we doing today? Working. Today we're working, right? Yes. All right. What's up, everybody? What's up everybody? My name is Joel. I'm the creator of Pixinweb.com and this is my son Gavin. He is my assistant. He spends a lot of time with me whenever I'm coding, whenever I'm building websites, whenever I'm here working from home. I'm a freelance web developer. I create WordPress powered websites and I do it from the distraction filled area called my house. Yeah. And while I always try to advocate that people try to get a dedicated environment where they could just strictly focus on the things they have to work on, sometimes that's not possible. So you have to be able to push through and just get the job done. Yes. Right, Dad? Exactly. Right, Papa? Yeah. So this video is about a day in the life of a freelance web developer, and in my case, a WordPress developer. You know, every day is different. No day is the same. You know, I get up at different times every day. I go to sleep at different times every night. Some days I'm working from home. Some days I go outside and I work either from a coffee shop or I've actually tried working from the beach, but that kind of doesn't work out, especially since when it's so nice outside, you just want to relax under the sun. So that one may not actually be something that's uh, a good idea to do, but working at a park is not a bad idea. Working at a coffee shop is awesome. And being able to be mobile is ideal because you can work from home, but you know, sometimes you want to change up your environment. You want to change things around. A little bit of background. I'm married. I have three kids and I started coding later on in life. It wasn't my first career. I didn't start coding when I was in, you know, high school and become one of those prodigy type coders. I learned based out of necessity and then out of desire. I chose to change careers and I went from being a suit and tie type of guy to being a t-shirt or a polo shirt and jeans type of guy.
and ever since making the transition, I haven't looked back. I get to spend a significant amount of time with my family, which is very important to me. Yes. And I get Exactly, right? And I yes. get to spend time working on the projects that yes, I want to yes, work yes, on. Yes, yes. Yeah, right? This is my little assistant over here. He's gonna end up creating something awesome in the future, and he's gonna be a million times better coded than I am. Yeah, I'm yeah. a big boy. You're a big boy, that's right. High five. All right, so in preparation for making this video, I tried to figure out what would be the best representation of a typical day. And again, that's very difficult to try to portray because every day is different. Every day is unique. So I think. So I figured I'd just lay it out on the table. Every day is different. I get up at different times in the morning, go to bed at different times at the night. Some days I'm working on clients' websites. Some days I'm working on my themes that I sell on my website, pixelmorb.com. And I do both because you're not always gonna have clients in the pipeline. And that's something to realize. You need to find a way to make some passive income. So that's why I chose to, besides working on client website and contract work, I decided to create some uh, WordPress themes that I sell on my website where people could buy them from. I've also taken part in affiliate marketing and now creating videos on YouTube. So having the ability to make some passive revenue and also have some client work and contract work is vital to my workflow. And going into workflow, that's different for everybody. I work on three different types of systems. I work primarily on my workstation computer here, which is a Windows based uh, computer. And I built the computer myself so that way I can have a video editing rig. And the triple monitor setup makes it a lot more productive for me. But again, this is a workstation that stays here. I can't take this anywhere with me, at least not easily. So that's why I still also have my laptops. I have a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Air, and I have a Linux-based uh, laptop. It was formerly a Windows-based laptop, but I wiped out Windows on that one, and I just put up uh, Linux Mint on that uh, laptop. And that allows me to be mobile. So whenever I'm working from home, I'm most likely working on this computer. And then whenever I'm outside, I take one of the... Uh, laptops with me. Most often I take the MacBook Air because that is the smallest one. It's the 11 inch uh, MacBook Air and this is one of the best laptops because it's so small, so tiny and you can pretty much take it with you anywhere. Battery life on it is pretty good. This is not a new one, it's a 2012 but it's perfect for you know coding on the go. So this definitely is always in my bag whenever I'm going outside. And actually that's going to be a good video uh, to create what's in my bag but that's for another time. So this is the MacBook Air, that's what I take when I'm on the go. Obviously I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I drink coffee, that's what keeps me up. Yeah, I drink juice. Yeah, Gavin drinks juice. And yeah. uh, we're gonna actually break for some lunch now. So we're gonna uh, probably have, what are we gonna uh, have? Chicken nuggets. Ooh, I made some chicken nuggets. So I think it's ready, so we're gonna start getting that now. And then we're gonna jump on the computer and show you a little bit of what I do yeah, and how. Yeah, we're gonna have chicken we need to buy in the old McDonald's and we buy chicken. <laughs> yeah, but we're not going to McDonald's today. So. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to break for lunch right now and then I'm going to take some footage of typically what I do on my computer. I'll show some screenshots of what I do on my coding process. I work with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, MySQL, and WordPress. I use the Visual Studio Code text editor and sometimes I use PHP Storm as well. I also have Git as part of my workflow because it's a great version control and I use Gulp as the task runner. That's an important part of my workflow because it helps to take care of the lower level processes that uh, would take a significant amount of time. And again, as I yes. said, you know, I'm all over the place. Some days I'm yeah. working from home, some days I'm working off site, and time is money, especially if you're freelancer. So you have to find every single way you can to try to save time so you can focus on the larger task at hand. All right, so right now, gonna break for lunch.
All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. I wanted to provide you for a little bit of insight of what a freelancer does during the day. And again, every single day is gonna be different. So to say there's gonna be a typical day, well, that's not gonna tell you the whole story because again, one day you're gonna be doing one project, the next day you'll be working on another project. So you have to be able to be adaptive. You have to be able to change your mindset and change your workflow. Of course, it's good to have structure. Of course, it's good to try to schedule your day and try to plan out what you're looking to accomplish. But instead of giving yourself a schedule, try to give yourself goals. Try to identify what needs to get done on any given day. All right, so hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you're new to freelancing, Hopefully this helped and I'll see you next time. Take care.